Welcome to the World Room at Columbia University. The votes are counted, and here, finally, are the Pulitzer Prizes of 2014. Let's see. Uh, first of all, the Pulitzer Prize for Best BuzzFeed Quiz goes to which Family Guy episode are you? Uh, no surprises there, I think. Uh, they actually included every Family Guy episode. They really refined the metric. Took two hours to take the quiz. Uh, next, the Pulitzer Prize for Best GIF on Reddit. We had a lot of contenders on this one. Uh, kitten chasing a dreidel, kitten doing a double take at a lemur, dog typing, and kitten calling grandma. But the winner has to be kitten sliding neatly between fence posts. I know, it, it was quite a contest, and we'll have plenty of time for unpleasant arguments on our webpage. Uh, speaking of which, best unpleasant argument on a webpage. The winner, you'll all be pleased to know, is a 9,000 comment thread on 4chan.org about Firefly, a TV show that was only on the air for three months in 2002. I agree, and well deserved. Next, a new category, the Pulitzer Prize for the best story that was broken too soon and turned out to be false but got a lot of web hits. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 27-way tie. Uh, 28. 28? Oh, okay. Uh, a 28-way tie that... Uh, uh, they still may be counting. Oh, oh okay. Uh, actually, they're still counting, uh, so we'll get back to you on that one. Let's just move on to the last Pulitzer Prize, the one you've all been waiting for, the Michelle Malkin Award for leaving out crucial information from an inflammatory op-ed. And the winner this year of the Michelle Malkin Award for leaving out crucial information from an inflammatory op-ed is, once again, Michelle Malkin. I know, every year this is my favorite part. All right, folks, we've all got to blog this, so let's do it quickly and we can head down to the bar. Uh, it's 29 now. Uh, okay, 29-way uh, tie on the false headlines. 